The human brain can do a lot more than we're doing with it. Well, some of us. Trace here for D News, everyone. Humanity's most famous savant is Kim Peek. Chances are you don't actually know who Peek is, but you know his story. It inspired the movie Rain Man. 246. Dustin Hoffman played a savant named Ray Babbitt, who could do complex math calculations in his head, but had very little social skill. In real life, Kim Peek could calculate numbers in his head, also memorize books after reading them once and a whole bunch of other cool stuff, but he didn't have the motor skills to dress himself. Peek was a savant. A savant is a term for someone who gained a skill without learning it. The world expert in savants is Dr. Daryl Teffert. He studied savant brains and habits for the last 40 years. Teffert describes savants as people who would otherwise think of as geniuses. Often savants are paired with autism, but only half of all savants are autistic, like Kim Peek. Some savants get their skills after a traumatic brain injury, and as of yet, science is still trying to figure out how that works. It seems like a cruel kind of magic. Commonly, acquired savants gain abilities in the artistic realm, like music, or painting, or sculpture. For example, Alonzo Clemens suffered an injury as a toddler and lost his ability to speak, but he can create amazingly detailed sculptures of animals now. Orlando Serrell was hit in the head while playing baseball as a child, but now he can remember in detail every day of his life since, including what day of the week it was and what the weather was like. Derek Amato smashed his head diving into a pool at the age of 39, and he suffered a major concussion. Four days later, he sat in front of a piano for the first time and began to play perfectly. He had not even taken lessons. The brain is a complex web of neurons and networks with hidden areas that perform a variety of functions, many of which we are just beginning to explore. Scientists think savants are routing information through parts of the brain that activate these amazing skills, and acquired savants' brains are doing the same thing by going around damaged areas. Neuroscientist Alan Snyder believes that we can tap into these skills in a neurotypical brain as well. He tested individuals using the nine-dot test, telling them to connect these dots with four lines, but you can't pick up your pen. Pause the video and try it if you want. All of the volunteers failed, all of them. Then Snyder used a transcranial direct current stimulation device. He zapped their brains. When their left hemisphere, responsible for logic and reason, was temporarily disrupted, and their right hemisphere, responsible for creativity and holistics, was temporarily stimulated, 40% of the people figured out the right answer. Snyder thinks everyone is a savant, but our brains aren't wired to use these crazy powerful regions. So is it possible to give the brain this boost permanently without trading motor skills or vocal ability? Maybe. Science doesn't really know yet. What artistic skill would you want if you could just flip a switch and have it? I would definitely want to play string instruments, because I am miserable at them. Share your thoughts and subscribe for two videos a day, seven days a week. You can also find us on social media. Look for D-News. See you around.